Hello, this is Ogma001, and this is our first ever episode of World Written Rant, or WRR. I never claimed that this was well written, it's just implied by the title, because I thought it would be Kathy. So, what am I going to do with uh, this smeg segment? I'm going to talk about something important. Why? Because I can, and I'm bored, and I want to expand my horizons and talk about something that interests me. And hopefully if it interests me, it may or may not interest you. So what am I going to talk about, I hear you ask? Well, for this episode... I'm going to talk about UK-US extradition. So, uh, what, go what got me thinking about all of this was um, a fellow by the name of Richard O'Dwyer. He is um, a 23-year-old university student, and um, he has uh, committed no felonies in the UK, none whatsoever. He created a website called TV Shack. This uh, held a load of links to various different websites where you can download illegal content. However, his site had none of this on it and therefore was completely legal. However, this is not legal in the US. Why should that be a problem? Because the US decided, hey, this kid's, um, this kid, we can make an example out of him, so we're going to extradite him to the US. What is extradition, I hear you ask? Extradition is where a um, country can take you to their country to try you for a crime you've committed. This is normally used for uh, convicts who have escaped justice, so you can bring them back. So extradition in itself is a good thing because it prevents criminals from escaping the law. However, Richard here, he's, he's never been to the US. He's not a US citizen. He has no reason to be extradited. So why has he been? Well, because the US want to. Oh, and um, don't worry if you're in the US because uh, the UK can't do this to you. In the treaty that was written in 2003, it's not particularly fair. You are, if you want to know why this is, it's because of um, a few various bits of wording within the law that says for the UK to take someone from the US, they need to have proof, hard evidence, which is fair enough. However, for the US to extradite someone, all they really need is reasonable doubt, or not reasonable doubt, reasonable suspicion, which is um, a lot more ambigu ambigu ah, <laughs> ambiguous, and it requires a lot less evidence, and it's much easier to bring people over. And you may say, well, this is just semantics, and in reality this doesn't happen. Well, think about it. America is a huge country. So in the past, um, what is it, since 2004, you would have expected probably the U.S. to have more people taken from it. Well, no. The U.S. has had four people extradited. Uh, so the U.K. has gone in and taken f four or five people, I think. I think the exact figure is five. Well, um... America has t extradited 29 people. That is a significant difference, especially when you consider how much bigger the US is. It's actually quite scary. So what does this mean for you in the UK? Well, for you it means if America passes some of its more completely insane laws, such as SOPA, the, um, U the UK government, well, as we've seen in this case, will do very little to try and help and support you, because as we've seen with um, Richard here, uh, it took them, after a court hearing on the 13th of January, they're extraditing him. And it's not the first person you've seen. As we know, there was the Kinnan, I believe his name was, who was um, also extradited for getting into the uh, Pentagon's network. There are a few things I don't quite understand about that particular story, such as, why the hell was that on the internet? And if he could get access, access to it, that's really his fault. Also, the person in question there was not completely... He, well, he was sane, but he had Asperger's Syndrome and various other things. So could we really put him through the mental, mental stress of extraditing him? And he is still fighting various legal battles. And it is completely horrible what some of these laws are doing to people. It is my personal belief that laws such as these, combined with the SOPA laws, is another thing that is going to contribute heavily in the upcoming months. However... I believe that the um, UK is finally starting to actually look at the matter and hopefully we can see some real change on the issue, because at the moment such laws are completely ridiculous. Well, I hope I've um, given you some new insight on the matter. I, I could, there is a lot more I could talk about, but I wanted to keep this particular one brief so I could see how it turns out, if I actually sound good, or I could sound like a prick who is well, very well informed. And if that is the case, I may not do them again, or I may try again and try better. But hopefully I've created something here that informs you and makes you go off and form your own opinions. I know I have been slightly biased, but that is because I feel that some of this is completely ridiculous. I hope you've enjoyed watching. If you have, uh, I'll, I, I intend to do more of these, but at some point I intend to get a camera and then I can film myself doing it and uh, instead of having some irrelevant game in the background. But that's just really there to give you something to stare at while I, you listen to my amazingly charismatic voice. 
This has been Augment001, and this was Well Written Rant.